Hi, this is Bill Mansour, and I want to welcome Andre Popescu helping me to explain how to edit the PR portal pages in EasySpeak on any website. Hi, Andre, how are you doing? Thanks, I'm doing well. Thank you for showing and sharing with me your Romanian Template Club page. Right now, you are listed as the PR officer for this club so you have editing rights on the page. Because you are also one of the administrators for Toastmasters on the website, you also have some extra features, so I'll explain that, how you can use that as well. But most VPs PR won't have that extra feature. But I'll explain that as we get into it. Right now you're looking at the home page of the Romanian Template Club, and you see that the page is laid out in a certain format on the left hand side is a column that's on every toast on every website page on the tmclub.eu or easyspeak setup any easy, any of the easyspeak installations have that same column on the left with your picture on the top and the site navigation on the bottom on the top of the page <coughs> it's also standard you see the toastmasters logo has the name of the club and has the menu bar the main menu bar with home meetings my participation that's the same but what's different about the home page or the PR portal pages is the layout of the columns of text or pictures or whatever you have on this page. Some of the columns have what we call standard text that you cannot edit but you can add or delete the whole block and other parts of the column have text that you can actually customize and edit yourself. So at the top there next to the word home it says edit page layout changing the look of the page the number of columns adding columns adding blocks of text that's something that you wouldn't do very often maybe once a year you would go in and change that twice a year you might ref refresh the look of the page and that's something that the president or the IT support might do for your club with everyone agreeing how the, le the look of the page should be but the VPPR might want to update the text from time to time, add pictures, do more things during the year. And this is what we're going to focus on in this training. Would you please scroll down the page so that on the left hand side where it says our about our club, at the bottom of that block of text you'll see the word edit text. Would you click on the word edit text? Great. And then <coughs> Uh, you can on the lower right hand corner of that block where it says words 119 there's a little tab and you can drag the page down drag that box and make it bigger so you can see all of it mm -hmm. that is what we call a web block this web block is what we call a free text web block and that means that you are free to edit any of the text in there that you want would you go ahead and update that text, change it any way you want, copy new text into it. Uh, okay, that's great. Now you see at the top of the block you have some formatting tools. You could select text and change the color for example. You can make it bold. You can change the font size. Anything you want to change the look of that text that you've, that you've customized in that block you could also insert a photograph you see on the where there's a little film strip there next to the film strip is the Lionite image manager by clicking on that you could select a a photo from your own from your own hard drive and update that would you go ahead and add a photo in, or you could in, you could also pick a photo from a URL an address somewhere else on the internet and copy a photo from there You found a picture, great, okay. You had a picture you grabbed from the internet, okay. And now you're able to select it from your hard drive. <coughs> it's always fun to see what other people have on their computers when they're sharing their screen. Okay, so now it's in the manager. By clicking on the picture in the manager, to so put your mouse there, you click on the plus button and it then will be inserted. Now because you're using Firefox as a 
internet browser, you're able to reshape the picture. On the edges of the picture, there should be a resize tool. You see those little white hand, little white boxes that show up on the edge of the picture, and those are handles for you to resize the picture. So make it a little bit smaller. That's right. Unfortunately, by using other browsers such as Safari or Chrome or Internet Explorer, the Leonid Manager doesn't work in the same way. There's other ways to edit the photos, but I find by using Firefox it's the easiest for resizing pictures. Also, if you look in the formatting bar on top of the box, you have the option to move the picture to the left or to the right by clicking on the 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 alignment icons. So align it to the right and you see how the text pops up on the left and the photo will always stay on the right. Mm -hmm. Try dragging try dragging the size of your internet browser to the right just a little bit and you'll see how the text is dynamic and will reshape itself around the picture. So the, the photo will always stay on the right side of the text. And if you align the photo to the left or in the middle it has other effects and you can play around with that as well. When you're done with reformatting the editing the text the way you want it, at the bottom of the web block, the text block, you have the save text link just as you saw the edit text in the beginning. Go ahead and click on save text and you can see how it will then look if anyone were to go to your home page. That's good. You're pulling your the web browser a little bit to the right so you can see how it would look for most people. Of course, you have to keep in mind that some people have narrow screen monitors, some people have broad, broader, uh, high, def high definition format uh, monitors, and they'll see more, but you, not everybody does. So design your page with in mind that some people have narrow screen monitors. Okay, so here you are able to customize your own text. And I do recommend that on the home, home page of every club that you do have some colorful picture or colorful text. You could have inserted a video as well. Uh, and that's a great thing to have on a home page. All right, so that's the easy way. Wherever you see edit text, you can simply click on the button and change the text that way. Now look to the in the next column to the right on your home page and you see where it says looking to improve speaking skills and there is a little black line around that text but you don't have the edit text option because this is standard text that was inserted as a whole block when the page was formatted okay so I'll show you that in the next video how to change a whole block that's reformatting but for now, click uh, on the drop-down menu underneath Home for the PR portal and see what other pages are in your PR portal. Besides the Home page, you also have the Blog page and the Meet Our Members page. Members, go on the Meet Our Members page. Uh, here you have blocks, web blocks, that are also not editable by just changing the text. So click on the next Home page the next PR portal page in the drop down, maybe directions. You'll see more web blocks and there you have one where you can edit the text. Look at the left, the directions block is an edit text option for the VR for the VPPR. Click on the edit text to open that up. Uh huh. And uh, it just has directions or you could put more information how to find the club you could type in directions for your club okay and when you're done doing that just at the bottom of the web block web block you'll see there is a save text option alright so this is just a quick demonstration to show you wherever you see the edit text option for one of the blocks in your PR portal the VPPR can make those changes. In the next video, I'll show you now how to edit the format and how to switch out, change, replace, delete the big blocks that your PR portal is made of. Thanks, Andre.